Hello, YouTube land, <laughs> world out there, universe, people. I've come today to talk about not my incredibly bad hair day. No, I've come to talk to you about Bolt House Farms. I wish I had the product beside me so I could show you. Green goodness smoothie. Yeah, if you've tried Bolt House Farm smoothies, they're usually bought, sold in a lot of retail stores, such as grocery stores some health food stores, etc, etc. Now I know most people obviously know that this is for is not for daily use. I hope you know that and this is more if you're on the run. Lately I've been working in a workplace that I like, however they do not have a fridge. Yes, no fridge. So I cannot bring healthy choices and have been eating out almost daily. And what's been cheap and I looked at the bottle and thought mm, I, what I had looked online bolthousefarms.com um, and it said green goodness nutrition and what I found there was the label told me that the green goodness smoothie had for example vitamin A over like 200 percent over 100 percent it was it was really good I thought wow for 350 can't go wrong and had vitamin A, C, B12 all these great things in it and yeah, so this is what I found out. So I bought the bottle in a rush, just buying it. Tastes fine. I mean, it's not amazing, but it works. Now here's the thing that really pisses me off. They lie. If you live in Canada, there's a bit of a discrepancy about in the U.S., but they lie on their website and has a little Canadian flag at the bottom, okay, of their website. Like showing this is the Canadian, you know, you've reached the Canada version of the site. I may not say .ca, but it's got a little Canadian flag. That says Canada to me. So I contacted them, pretty upset, saying I asked for a free coupon, which I think is not very much. But more importantly, I didn't even fully care about that. I just asked, can you please let me know, like, is the bottle saying the correct information or is your website wrong? And here's the response I got from Bold House Farms. You'll love this one. Maybe you won't. So Thank you for contacting Bold Hills Farms. We appreciate your feedback regarding green goodness. The information you found on our website regarding the nutritional information is correct. Since you reside in Canada, there are different labeling requirements. The serving size in your bottle is different than what is on the U.S. label. What the juice is the same, and the nutrition information is the same. It will be different on your bottle based on the different serving size. Please feel free to contact our 800 number should you have any additional questions regarding our products, thanks for your support. We appreciate your service. Business, blah, blah, blah. Sincerely, Julie. Sully, Consumer Relations, Project Manager, Bold Hills Farms. And if you want our email, it's J-S-O-L-E-Y at Bold Hills. I can take a picture of the product if you like to show you it is the same size. For example, Bold Hills Farms. 250 milliliter says vitamin A is like 20%. Not 100%, 20%. That is shit. There is like nothing in there. I would like, I will take a picture of in store to show you in the video. It also, if you want to see, again to clarify, the serving size is the same. I will show you, you can see, then not just take my word for it. It feels very frustrating to be told, serving size in your bottle is different than it was on the US. If you could forward this to your supervisor to review, that would be wonderful. Thanks. Consumer who feels like something is not right and unclear, which is where your website is lying. Thanks. Okay, so. Um, I took a picture, went into the grocery store that night because I was really upset to be told, you know, say like, oh, you're full, you know, nope, the, the serving size is different when I know that was a complete lie. So here's what I sent to her. So I emailed it to her and she said, thank you for the information. Let me do some follow up on this. We certainly do not want to have conflicting information between our bottles and our website. I'll work on this today and get back in touch with you. I also got your other email that includes the pictures of the bottle. Thank you. So got a response again. A few days later, again, this is still in the month of April 2011, this month, okay? Six days later. So I hope you don't think I've forgotten about you, and I didn't email back. Hi, I have investigated the issue we discussed last week and have an answer for you. The green goodness you purchased in Canada is different than what is available in the U.S., which also explains why the information on our website did not match your bottom information. The green goodness product that is available in the U.S. is fortified with vitamins and minerals, in addition to containing the naturally occurring vitamins and minerals present from the fruit veggies. 
Due to the Canadian regulations, we are unable to ship this product to Canada as a food item since it's fortified. The product you were able to purchase in your area is not fortified, so the vitamin content listed on the bottle is what is naturally occurring. There's not much stuff in it. The information available on our website will be for the products sold in the U.S. We do not currently have a website designated to Canada. Note, even though there is a Canadian flag picture on their website when you're accessing it, the information available will be for the U.S. We don't have a website for Canada. Sorry for the confusion. Please verify your name and we'll send you a coupon. Please let me know if you have any questions. Is, uh, I won't even need to read you on and on because I'm sure you're getting bored of this already. Um, no, this is not correct. It has B12 fortified in the green smoothie, not as much as the U.S. one. However, B12 is not naturally occurring in fruits and vegetables. Look it up. It is not. It occurs in some seaweeds a little bit, but it's it's minimal amounts. And Britain, I heard from my that is you barely absorbed. Yeah. So it may be different amounts that are fortified, but they're completely lying. Not only that, this is where I really want to educate people. There is really not that much stuff going on in the green goodness smoothie. Like honestly, there really isn't. Okay, I'll give you an example. This is what the ingredients are. It sounds like a lot of stuff, but it's not. It says that there's, you know, the ingredients are concentrate, apple, juice concentrate, pineapple juice concentrate, banana, uh, puree, spirulina, 3,160 milligrams. That sounds like a lot, right? You know how much that is? I looked at um, a currency conversion, excuse me, not currency, a uh, metric conversion. That's less than half a teaspoon. Yep, yeah, you're not getting very much. I mean, that's a great ingredient, but there's like nothing there. Broccoli, 242 milligrams. You want to know how much that is? You're going to laugh at this one. It's not even the size of one floret, one little piece of broccoli. Not even one of it is in there. Next one, spinach. It says it's 242 milligrams. I looked at the nutritiondata.com. Nutri nutri yeah, nutritiondata.com. You type in the spinach. I type spinach raw. And it shows the 10 grams for one leaf of spinach. It's less than, it's barely a gram. It's less than this piece of spinach. Less, it's about maybe that much is in there. Maybe that much. Probably, it's more like this much. That's what you're paying for. Green goodness, yeah. You know what you can do, people? Uh, may, you know, it may not be as fun is convenient and but it saves a lot of money and just as much nutrition here we go I'm gonna go quick with this kiwis just buy two kiwis these are 40 cents each a lot cheaper kiwis have more than 100% vitamin C these two here that's like 200% of your daily dose of vitamin C this is less than a dollar next you want vitamin A buy a big bag of carrots baby carrots regular carrots it doesn't matter this is a cup of carrots put in a little bag I'm gonna take with me carrots they last a bit long Outside the refrigerator, they're not too bad. I tried it last night, it was great. That's more than 100% vitamin A. Stop buying these drinks. And people, these misleading companies. And by the way, Bold House Farms, if you know anyone who... I, I'm not really big on institutions of marriage, regardless of what your orientation is. However, just to let you know, I looked up on Wikipedia, Bold House Farms supported... Wait, I want to make sure I'm saying the exact information. How they do business and how they treat their employees, and how they treat other people, and just think about who you're supporting. Just think about it. I know at the end of the day we want to eat and have a good time, but here it is. On the ballot for the November 2008 election was the controversial and device Proposition 8 to amend the California Constitution to define marriage as being between a man and a woman, de facto outlying same-sex marriage. Bolt House Foundation contributed $100,000 to this campaign, and Californians Against Hate announced a soft boycott of Bolt House Farms products. The boycott was called off when the company demonstrated it no longer had ties with the Bolt House Foundation. The company also changed its personal policies, personnel policies, to be more respectful to LGBT, Liz and Gabe, bisexual, I think it's T for transgender, employees, and pledged to support the LGBT community through scholarship programs. Yeah. I wonder why that happened because they were exposed like people these are who you're supporting don't you can make your own dinner here you go you want your protein here buy it. make your own like trail mix this has walnuts some almonds sunflower seeds and button some raisins or dates some carrots here you go some kiwis that's it don't need a fridge it works you can take it anywhere think about who you're supporting 
there are other options. Okay. Bye.